nigga. Fuck all that shit. Yeah, nigga, I got to read and he took a reading. Emoji me. Yeah, nigga, you can't get. Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Wakasayim. Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings. Very much love, honor, and respect unto all of you, Zakwanyim, Wa'akim, to the Biyasha, Dawadah, to the house of David, to all the hopeful elect, wherever you may be scattered. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is to deliver. All right, and we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, uh, Seminole Indians. All right. We actually make up the laws to all tribes of Israel. The so-called white men, they're not white, they're red. They're the Idumians, according to the scripture. All right. And the people that are in our land today, they're imposters. All right. Now, this is a video from the guy, uh, Charleston White. You know, so before I, I'm just going to, uh, before I play it, you know, I'm just going to read this, this scripture, man. All right. This is Proverbs. <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter eighteen and verse six. A fool's lips enter into contention, contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. So let's just hear, you know, what he says because he says a lot, you know. Faster than Paul Lewis. No, nigga. Yeah, nigga. You can't give me no Hebrew emoji, so fuck you, nigga. Yeah, emoji me talking to me, nigga. Fuck all that shit. Yeah, nigga. I got to read in Hebrew. I bow. Uh, oh, I got to understand the curse. Nigga, I'm not claiming no motherfucking curse. I wasn't even here. Nigga, fuck I do to God to be cursed. Yeah, fuck that God shit. Nigga, I ain't no motherfucking thing to God. Holla by, we done something 2,000 years ago. Nigga, you ain't done nothing 2,000 years ago talking about we cursed. We the Hebrew. We the lost 12 tribe. I ain't lost by shit. Nigga, everything I ever wanted to be in life, I grew up and became it. Nigga, fuck you talking about. I ain't. Nigga, I go back to pimping before I go to Hebrewing. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, nigga, say do me. I go back to pimping before I go, go to Hebrewing. Yeah, no, nah, nigga, Hebrewing. Hebrew niggas don't get a bunch of pussy. Uh, Hebrew niggas ain't pulling out a bankroll in their pocket. Uh, Hebrew niggas ain't jumping out of them foreign motherfucking car. Uh, nigga getting plenty of whole eyes and knocking hold by listening. No, I don't want to be no Hebrew, nigga. Them no nigga, please. Yeah, nigga, you, you, one last time you seen a Hebrew nigga dunk from the free throw line. No, 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 nigga ain't now a Hebrew nigga can't. Show me a Hebrew nigga that run faster than Carl Lewis. No, nigga, in mighty fact, a Hebrew nigga done read white boy books. Yeah, that's a nigga done winning red, red. Nigga, fuck a Hebrew, fuck a Jew. Yeah, yeah, and fuck you too, nigga, with that new shit. Nah, that's some new shit. That's some new uh, private school shit. Nigga done went to a motherfucking white boy private school. They done gave him a book talking about, uh, man, please. Nah, nigga, we nigga slaves. We slave babies, nigga. Our people couldn't read or write. They didn't want to be nothing but left the fuck alone. Fuck wrong with you niggas and come along with this new shit. Nigga, fuck you. We just, listen, hey, listen, all Jewish people, all white people, listen to me and listen to me good. We ain't no Jews. Every nigga y'all heard hollering about we a Jew doing just like y'all do Kyrie Irving. Kick his ass. Kick him all off in his ass. <laughs> Kick him in his I'm going to just mute it right there. And what I'll do is I'll rewind it. But as you can see, man, the guy, you know, he's, he, 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 hey, the scripture says a fool's mouth calleth for strokes. You know, we're not saying we're going to do it, anything to him because he has his opinion, which, which that's fine. You know, just as the scripture says, you know, you know, two thirds of our people, they're not going to make it. <clears throat> and and, uh, and uh, this is a pure example of why, because, you know, what comes out, what comes out of man's mouth is what's in his heart. So that's how he thinks about us. And our belief and, and, and the scripture, you know, he's wicked. You know, the man said out his own mouth, he'd rather be a pimp, okay, which, you know, prostituting a woman, okay, versus uh, serving the Lord, pretty much. You know, he doesn't want to get into the uh, the Hebrew, all right? He doesn't want to get into the, the fact that, you know, our people are cursed as a nation. Yeah, every time you hear him talk about it, he's talking about violence in the so-called black community that guess what that's a curse 
you know, and if this man knew his history, okay, he would knew that when we were brought over here, they called us Hebrews, man. He would know about Fort Judah on the west coast of Africa. He would know about the, the different uh, tribes over there in West Africa, different parts of Africa, South Africa, that still claim connections and ties to the land of, of Israel. All right, the tribes are still over there, man. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right, you know about the transatlantic slave trade. So this is just a guy talking shit on on his life. All right, he's not bringing out no information. He's he's just rambling. Okay, and and if you you know, and if you ruled by this, the Yahweh Shem El Shai pretty much does not want you, man. Okay, another thing I got from this video is the uh, the persecution. You know, because uh, from the men out there on the highways and had just teaching this word that that truly believe, you know, uh, perse persecution is in the future. OK, this whole situation with Shaq, Kyrie Irving, you know, Kanye West, you know, it, it could very well lead to these damn devils passing unrighteous decrees so that we can't even call ourselves a, a Jew. Which that goes into the time of the Maccabees, man. Okay, and we know during the time of the Maccabees, the Greeks were in power. Okay, Alexander the Great had came and went, and it's dealing with his four generals, man. Okay, and during that time, it was uh, Ptolemy, <clears throat> the king of the south versus the king of the north, and Tychus, or Antiochus, Epiphanes, which Epiphanes means God manifest. And during that time, they had he had a plan to Hellenize the whole known world at that time and to stop everyone from worshiping their God and keeping their custom, their laws, their ways, their heritage. He wanted them to forget that, man. Okay? And that's when the most side rose up the spirit of the Maccabees. But during that time, our nation faced great persecution. Also during that time, you had sellout niggas, man. Okay? Marie, first Maccabees in the Good News Translation. All right, this is first Maccabees Good News Translation. It says Antiochus Epiphanes and the renegade Jews. Now let's look up the definition of, of renegade. All right. Look up renegade. It says an apostate from a religious faith. Probably. All right. Which uh, it says probably from Spanish renegado, originally a Christian turned Muslim, from medieval Latin renegatus. Okay, it says renegar to deny, a turncoat. Okay, so that's pretty much what Charleston White is. He's a turn. He's a turncoat. He's denying the truth. He's denying the Holy Spirit, which which Jake always does and have and has done, and always hated the prophets, man. Okay, and he's talking about that. <clears throat> you know, he never you never seen Hebrews do this or that. Well, you know, you're a natural man. Okay, so you can never receive the things of the spirit, man. This is first Corinthians two and fourteen. <clears throat> but the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shah, that's why you can't understand or don't want to acknowledge or even learn about the fact that our people are cursed as a nation, our history from, you know, thousands of years ago, even up on, 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 until this day, you know, speaking the language, calling ourselves who we, who we really are. You cannot receive that. You can't receive prophecy, okay? Yahweh Shem El Shai is dealing with the prophets. He's not dealing with youth active, you know, he's not dealing with whatever whatever this guy calls himself, a youth uh, counselor, community activist, whatever, where the fuck he is, wherever he's supposed to be, he's just a guy, you know. And that's the thing about the internet, you know, the, the YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, that was pretty much given anybody uh, with a fucking voice, they could just hit live and say whatever they want to say, okay. But that's the how about Shemel Shah trapping you too, Okay, because you're going to have to get a, give account for those words, man. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Right, this man's swine. We're not casting our prayers before swine. Okay? For they are foolishness unto him. The word 
of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is foolishness unto him. All right, us hitting the highways and hedges week in and week out is foolish unto these people. To them, we're actually uh, wasting our lives. We could do, we could be doing something much better with our time. You know, they don't like what we're saying. You know, us calling ourselves the real Israelites and Jews, that's complete foolishness. Neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned. So this is not, this is not for him. This ain't for people like him, man. Like I said, the best gift is the gift of, of prophecy. You know, some of our people, they can rap, they can dance, they can sing, they can rap, dance, and sing, and act. Okay? They can play sports really good. They can draw. They, they, can, they can paint. They're very, they're very artistic. Okay? Then some of our people of our nation, they're historians, they're teachers, they're prophets. Okay? They're, they're, they're great warriors, boxers, you know, uh, trainers okay there there's many talents man but the top talent in the nation of israel is the, what the prophets the apostles man okay so back in uh first maccabees in the good news translation it says antiochus epiphanies and the renegade jews which means the turncoat jews okay the wicked ruler antiochus epiphanies son of king antiochus the third of syria was a descendant of one of Alexander's generals. Antiochus Epiphanes had been in a hostage in Rome before he became king of Syria in the year 137. At that time, there appeared in the land of Israel a group of traitorous Jews. All right, so there's nothing new under the sun. You know, this this man, and one he's double-minded too. In one video, he's, you know, telling Kanye, we got your back, and he don't, he don't support the little hat guys. But in this video, he's telling the little hat guys to pretty much come against us for claiming who we really are. You see, it says, who had no regard for the law, who had a bad influence on many of our people. And that's guys like this, you know, and especially amongst the faith, you know, false prophets. All right. General Yohanan telling my people to get the jump shots. A great example. They said, let us come to term with the Gentiles, the heathens. Okay, for our refusal to associate with them has brought us nothing but trouble. This proposal appealed to many people, and some of them became so enthusiastic about it that they went to the king and received from him permission to follow Gentile customs. Okay, so that's the spirit that our people are in. They're in that traitorous uh, spirit. Okay, and a lot of people are going to come against us, man. This is Second Maccabees chapter 6. And verse, let's see where I can start. I just started at one. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of Yahweh Shem Shai. So they always sent. So these devil is real crafty, man. He always sends your own people. That's how he gets you. And he gets a sellout or an agent or someone to infiltrate or spy, and he sends them in to corrupt the workings of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, which you ain't going to corrupt, because that's why Yahweh Shai told Peter, the gates of hell shall not prevail. And to pollute also in the temple of Jerusalem and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympus, and that engars them of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwelt in the place. The coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people, for the temple was filled with riot and reveling, with riots, fighting, partying by the Gentiles, the heathens, who slept, who dallied with harlots, prostitutes, and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places. So that's so that's instant judgment. That calls for instant death. Okay? It says, and besides that brought in things that were not lawful. The altar also was filled with profane things which the law forbid it. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days, which the Sabbath is a day of rest, or ancient feasts such as what? Well, you got the Passover, you got the Feast of Tabernacles. And Hanukkah also became a high holy day, and that later became a feast as well. It says, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Okay? Now we know what the word profess means, man. Let's, let's just look it up. 
this is what these people have a problem with, even amongst our own nation. All right. It says to take a vow. Okay. A back it says, or else literally having declared publicly, declare openly, testify, voluntarily, acknowledge. Okay, so they don't want us to acknowledge who we are. All right. That burns them up inside them to into the fact that they're going to send our own people against us to try to stop us from acknowledging the fact of who we are, okay? You nigga done read white boy books. Yeah, that's a nigga done went and read, read, nigga, fuck a Hebrew, fuck a Jew. Yeah, yeah, and fuck you too, nigga, with that new shit. Nah, that's some new shit. That's some new uh, private school shit. Nigga done went to a motherfucking white boy private school. They done gave him a book talking about, uh, man, please. Now, nigga, we nigga slaves. We slave babies, nigga. Our people couldn't read or write. They didn't want to be nothing but left the fuck alone. Fuck wrong with you niggas and come along with this new shit. Nigga, fuck you. We just, listen, hey, listen, all Jewish people, all white people, listen to me and listen to me good. We ain't no Jews. Every nigga y'all heard hollering about we a Jew, do him just like y'all do Kyrie Irving. Kick his ass. Kick him all off in his ass. <laughs> Kick him in his stupid ass, nigga. Get your ass out. Talking about you a goddamn Jew. You ain't no Jew. Show me. <laughs> Kick it in his ass. You get out of here, Jew, nigga. <laughs> you, nigga. You ain't you heard me say you, you. Get out of here, you nigga. You ain't no Jew. <laughs> yeah. Kick every nigga in his goddamn ass. He ain't nothing but a nigga. See, this is what I love about white folk, white Jews, white Italians, white Asians, white Vietnamese, white Mexicans. This is what I love about folk with that white pale skin. They go always remind the Jew niggas that Jew ain't nothing but a nigga. Nigga, fuck wrong with you. Your ancestors couldn't even look up and talk back to white folk. How the fuck you go holler about you something? Nigga, huh? Nigga, your ancestors couldn't even talk back. You better not talk back. Say something in the courtroom. Watch for what happened. It's evident to see this guy really, you know, hate us. And a lot of people got this spirit, you know? This is uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 27 and 13. The discourse of fools is irksome, and their sport is the wantonness of sin, right? And you're making a sport of it. You got people, you know, laughing. <clears throat> Which is fine. All right. Hey, the scripture says, so what if some did not believe, man? Prophecies are still rolling. This is Matthew chapter 12 and verse. Let's see. Thirty six it says, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give a account thereof in the day of judgment. So in the day of judgment, how about Shemel Shah gonna play all that shit back for it, man? He ain't gonna be able to say shit. <laughs> gonna be sit there with a, with a big dumbass look, man. Of shame. Hey, the, the scripture says a lot of our people, man, they're gonna wake up with everlasting shame. This is Romans nine and six. Not as though the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua had taken none effect, right? Because the word pretty much reached the four corners of the earth. Okay, <clears throat> for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Now, even though this man might be, you know, according to the to the flesh, you know, he technically is of Israel, but he's not though. Okay, and in the spirit, he's gonna have to get destroyed on this side and be come back in the kingdom. If he doesn't repent, but you know, people like this are prideful. You know, they're not really gonna repent. You know, and he's he got another video where he's talking about the little hat. So Yahweh Bashim El Shai can very well have I wouldn't be surprised if the Mosai allowed this man to get judged, uh takeoff style. You know. This is second address chapter eight. Verse fifty five. <clears throat> this is what the Lord told Edris concerning, you know, the, the, the lot of our people that, that wouldn't make it. Edris 8 and 55. And 
Therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. That was that. That's the two thirds. For when they had taken liberally, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. To this day, a lot of our people, they got a problem with, you know, eating pork. You got this nigga Boosty, <clears throat> you know, talking shit, you know, because he, cause he ain't supposed to eat pork. A lot of our people, they want to eat pork, lobster, crab. They want to commit adultery. They, they want to pimp. They despise the Most High and thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways, okay? And you know what else they did? They must use his prophets, okay? So yeah, how about Shemiel Shah is really pissed off, man. This is Second Chronicles 36, verse 15. says, And the Lord, Yehabah Shemel Shai, the power of their fathers, <clears throat> sent to them by his messengers, the messengers are the prophets, teachers, apostles, elders, rising up be times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place, and compassion is love, compassion is mercy, compassion is uh, kindness, uh, you know, affection, okay? But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, right? Yeah, brothers, <clears throat> you know, for the most part, you know, brothers have hobbies and different talents, but for the most part, all of our energy goes into pushing this work. So you may not see brothers, you know, looking like a, a fucking, uh, you know, super video rapping nigga with all the jewelry, the chains, and, 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 and the woman, you know? <clears throat> it says, but they mocked the messengers of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, because these people are judging us according to the ways of this world. See, they don't understand that we're not of this world, but, but they kind of do. So that's part of the hatred too, okay? And despise his words and misuse his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua rose against his people till there was no remedy. remedy. And that's going to come in the form of Jacob's trouble. That's going to come in the form of the UN troops. That's going to come in the form of the famine. That's going to come in the form of the drought. That's going to come in the form of... Hurricanes, the floods, concentration camps, being tortured. Okay. Second address eight. Now end it here. For for when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, the scorn of His law, and forsook His ways. Moreover, they have trodden down His righteous, which that's the prophets, and that's how they trotted them down. They misused them. They, they talk shit about them. They actually killed them, persecuted them. All right, these niggas took the side with the heathens against us, man, and said in their heart, all right, that there is no God, yet, and that knowing they must die. And, this, and he's not the only one. A lot of our people are, are in, in their spirit, you know. But with that, I just want to do a quick lesson. You know, I pray this was edifying, you know. I want to say all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom to the elect.